Tell Me a Story, brought to you by COVID Recovery Iowa. Even Superheroes Have Bad Days, by Shelley Becker, illustrated by Etta Caban. This book is brought to us by Sterling Children's Books, copyright 2016. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they have a bad day, they could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek, they could screech with an ear-piercing sound. They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rumble and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate their town's tires. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme outer space mountain biking. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties to victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. They could spin super webs super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time. Or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage, they could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't, they won't. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, the strong superpowers contained in their heart, and use their talents as true superheroes should. They battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But then they get up and get on with their day saving the world in their most super way. The End